everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to continue my kind of, it's not really a closet clean out because I tend to go through my things all the time. Like I give stuff away weekly, but I have in the last month or two kind of been going through my jeans, my jackets, my blazers and everything. And I've actually already given away given some to my mom and then I took the rest to a resale shop, about 10 blazers. Now these are ones that on the rack, I could just, you know, say, I'm not wearing it, I'm not wearing it. A lot of them were just, I loved them, but I'm just not wearing them. What I have left on the rack here and in, you can see that's where my blazers live, right here in my closet. I have the ones that either I know I like or I think I do, I just need to try them on. So I thought I would do that with you guys. There are some that I know are not going anywhere, you may not care for, but I'm gonna see how I feel about these and I just thought I would take you along with me. Today I just have on, felt like I would just put on a good basic outfit and I told you how much a blazer can transform an outfit and this is what I'm talking about. I have on the I keep wanting to say learners because that's what they were, but New York and Company high-waisted yoga pants, and I just put them on. They will stretch out a little bit, so just remember that. Like, these are the smalls. I'm so glad I didn't get the extra small. So, I would go with, if you're in between two, I would go with the bigger one. Like, I used to wear mediums, if that tells you anything. And then this is a tank top that I really like from Gap. It's smooth, it's not ribbed. You can see it's longer. You can tuck it in if you want to, but I thought I would just leave it out for today. I like that it's still fitted, but see you can have those gathers, which are a good like tummy cover, just make you feel better. It's got normal straps, so you can wear your normal bra. I have on the Silhouette bra from Honey Love, and then I have on actually a new pair of flip-flops. One of you guys on Instagram told me about these, and I ordered them, and I, when I got this box, John and Brooke were in the kitchen. I was like, oh, please let me like these. Please let me like these, because I am very funny about my flip-flops. There's something about this. If I don't like the way this top feels on my feet, it grosses me out. Like for instance, the Javianas that have a print on them, some type of cool print. I don't like the way that feels. I also don't like if there's too much around my foot. Like if there's too much empty space, I do not like that. Hey Chanel. But anyway, here they are in all their glory. They are just a simple pair of Gucci black flip-flops and I love them. They've got a little bit of a platform but nothing crazy and they fit my foot so nicely. They are just amazing, amazing. So like this little outfit, I'm going to wear it today. I see you, I see you and I just wanted to have something good to show you. Like a lot of these blazers are black and some would, would say I should have worn another color because the blazer would show up more, but I wanted to wear what I would most likely be wearing, and that is black. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this for real. This is really like a test for me. Okay, the first blazer I just got, I wanted a navy blue pinstripe blazer, and they're not easy to find. Most of them that I looked at were either sold out or they were not like the oversized. And so I ended up getting this one. I haven't taken the tags off yet. I did steam it, but it's from the Frankie shop. And these are one size fits all. I think I, I've got another one of these in there. And they are perfect, perfect. Because they just give you that just oversized boyfriend look, but they still have really good structure. They do have the padded shoulder pads and they are not double breasted but it is going to give you kind of like that double breasted feel because it's not going to be open it's going to be more of a shut blazer 
This would look great with anything. So this is definitely a yes. This one is a Joseph in size 40. Sorry. And I've got that blind open right there and she's not used to that. So that's, she's, you know, intrigued. But this is one I bought pre-loved off of the Real Real. And wow, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? Okay, so this is more of a, oh, that looks really good. Goodness, just a single button blazer. One thing you can note, typically a single button blazer is going to give you, or not a single button, but a single row, it's gonna give you more of this, more where you can see underneath. If you get a double-breasted blazer, which you will see, they're gonna close more and you're not gonna see underneath. Then you will see with my like mango blazer where it's more of a fitted blazer, it really shows what's underneath. So that's something to think about too when you are blazer shopping, but I would definitely say this is a keeper. This one is my Balmain blazer I bought at the end of winter, like last fall, probably a year ago. I saw it on Nordstrom and I paid full price, but I had to have it. I just love the way this looks. I really like a print like this. You'll see, even it doesn't have to be Balmain or Fendi or Gucci. I even like Mango. Mango is gonna be one of your best places. Mango and Zara, Everlane, Aritzia, they are gonna be your best places to find the best blazers, other than just shopping for men's blazers on the sale rack, which I'll show you one of those. They're gonna have your best selection and just best prices, Mango especially. And a lot of times Mango will have a blazer that has like a logo print that I really like and I have to hold myself back because I already have a couple. So this is the Balmain and I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. And this is probably, if I had to tell you something in my wardrobe that I will probably never let go of, it would be this because I just, I, you can put this with anything. I can put this on with sweatpants, and Uggs and still feel fine. And I really like it. It looks really pretty over like a black slip dress. I just love it. And let me tell you the size is 38. Now this is one that is on the major chopping block. It is from Zara and it's a medium. I bought it a while ago and you can see it's intentionally wrinkled looking. It's made out of kind of like a really cool taffeta type fabric and I got this for it was in the summer and it's just a lightweight blazer and it looks just good over any little dress like a slip dress or something and it was I really loved keeping it in the car this is when we were so I must have gotten it a couple of years ago because it was when we were going out to eat so much and this was something I could take with me or keep in the car that looked good over anything that I was wearing. What do you guys think? It feels really good. It's really lightweight. It's definitely, you know, kind of a sloppy look, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to probably wait till I watch this back and no, and then it does have one button. The length is good. We shall see. She's over here asleep, let me show you. We're washing all of our bedding today, so there she is. <laughs> this is a Legence blazer, and I remember getting this before I went out of town at Oliver one time, and I'm trying to see what size it is. It's got the dry cleaning tag in it. It's right over the size, hold on, it's a six. And I like this, but I may take this to the resale shop because I think I'm kind of, oh gosh, I don't know. I think I like it more now since I've lost weight. I was gonna say I'm kind of over the gold buttons, but it's different than anything I have. And I think, I don't know, 
um, it's hard for me to let blazers go because they're all so different. You can see this one is a little bit shorter. And I do like the gold buttons aren't too ornate. They're just pretty basic. So, and I love the structure. And this one is kind of a knit. It's a little bit different. It's not extremely, I can't say it's not extremely dressy, but it's kind of like a dressy blazer with a casual fabric. Okay, this one is covered in cat hair. I need to, man, I am embarrassed to even put this on, but I'm going to, just because you guys know the situation. But this is that James Purse blazer that I got. It's a long line blazer. I got at the Nordstrom sale years ago, size two, which is probably a medium. And it's very, you can see, it's very casual. It's made out of a knit. And I have not worn this in so long, but it is so cool. This almost gives that, this would be something good. You know, I told you I don't really buy the long coats like you would wear in really cold places like New York and things like that. You guys, I just got my bangs cut a little bit and they're already driving me crazy, but I did not style them. So that's probably what it is. I think I'm gonna keep this because it's very different. I love, it doesn't have shoulder pads. I was gonna say, I love the shoulder pads, but it doesn't. It's just got good structure. James Purse is a designer that I really do like. And because it's long and knit, I really like this. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna keep this out so that I can lint roll it really good before I put it back up. But this is my old, old blazer from when I was, it was when Pretty Woman came out. It's from New York and Company. It was learners back then. It's this New York style. It's a size eight. And this is from my 20s. I was probably, what, 24, 23, 24, something like that. I wear this all the time. You guys, I've already worn it this year. It's very similar to the James purse that I just tried on, um, where it's kind of long, but, gosh, I think that one's attached, yeah. It does have shoulder pads, and I love that. So this, I got this because I was inspired when he came to pick her up at the end, and remember she was looking down the fire escape and she had on a black blazer with jeans and I believe a white shirt. That's what inspired me. And I wore this thing. This was my go-to jacket when we went out of town because we would go to Atlantic City and stuff a lot when I was in my twenties. And I would always wear this, like on the plane. I had some cool black boots and I would wear jeans. And they were the kind of boots that had, they were high heel and they had like the, I don't know what you call that, like a little metal piece and the, the shoestrings kind of strapped up the front. They were so cute. This one is my Anina Bing. It's older. It's probably, I would say five years old at least. It's 50% uh, polyester, 50% wool. And it's a small. I got it from Oliver, if I might have already said that. And I keep this one because this one is just so, in the best way, this one is so basic. It's just your basic blazer. It does have shoulder pads. Because it's got the wool in it, I think it keeps me warm. There's no funny buttons, nothing to, you know, I don't know, I just feel like it's such a good everyday when I don't want a particular look blazer. <laughs> I've got to show you guys what she's doing now. Hold on. The whole time I'm talking, just looking at me. I know, you love mama. Do you love mama? <laughs> okay, it's hard to stay focused with something that cute looking at you. So just love this, I won't get rid of it. I think she comes out with this, some version of this blazer every year and it's just a good one to have. I do like the way it's lightweight, but it's very warm. Okay, this one, oh my goodness, it's a little bit, it's the Good American. I also got this at the Nordstrom sale and I need your advice on this one. I love the way it feels. I mean, it feels like silk when it goes on and I don't have anything else like this. Okay, I think I like it. I was worried about it being too big, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. 
but this is one that you belt and I love this look. So you could easily, you know, take, it does have belt loops. You could easily take these out and put your own belt in this. And because it is, she's playing with that dry cleaning tag. Okay, come on little darling, over there. Because this fabric is meant to do this, it does it better. You know what I mean? Sometimes if you try to put a belt on a really structured blazer, it takes a minute to get it right. Whereas this is just a go-to. I love the sleeve length and okay. This one I thought was a maybe, but I really like it. I think it's, I think it's a good one. This blazer you guys see all the time. It's my Zara tuxedo blazer, oversized. It's probably was oversized a little bit already and then mine is a medium. It's a single button and I absolutely love it. This is probably one of my most worn. This one, my men's that I'm getting ready to show you, my Anina Bing wool one, and my old one from my 20s. Those are my most worn black blazers. And then this one, it just, it's nice to have this. Like, okay, this one you guys have seen a lot lately, and that is because it is my mango blazer, and this one is very different. It has an, a, an extreme shoulder pad look and it is hourglass shaped. So you can see it cuts in, it goes back out, it is a single button, and it really gives you that look. Like this is a good one to wear with just a cami or something, or if I, in my younger years, I maybe would have worn this with just a bralette or just a really pretty bra underneath it, and it's just good. It's such a good blazer. I hope you guys can get this before it sells out because it is so nice. Okay, this one is a Veronica beard. And for the life of me, I cannot tell. I think it's black, but it almost looks navy blue. But, you know, there's so many different shades of black, you know, a brown black, a blue black. I think this is kind of like a blue black looking at it because I tried this on a while ago and I was trying to tell it's a it's an eight and I think it's just a little bit too big you know these are the ones that you get and they come with the buttons on the inside so you can buy the dickies to go inside I think I'm going to probably get rid of this one but it's so pretty okay my most worn is the Banana Republic 38 regular, but I believe this style was a slim type style, but it's the man's blazer from Banana Republic. This one and the tuxedo blazer and my old blazer are probably the most worn. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. Every time I see a black oversized blazer that I'm thinking about, I just think about how much I love this one and getting better because I have looked at so many just good basic black blazers, but I always remember how much I love this. My last black blazer is a kind of recent purchase, and I don't know if I've shown you guys, but this is a small, and I kind of wish I would have gotten a medium, but it is a very different look for me. And I'm probably going to, I don't know, I guess I was thinking, probably gonna to have to get a medium, but I think it fits like it should. But it is the, I don't know if they call it the, I don't know, it's about the lapel. The lapel, instead of going out, it comes in. And it still is like the hourglass shape, kind of like the mango blazer, but this one has the little eye and hook that goes here, and it's pretty fabulous, isn't it? This is kind of dressy. I had imagined wearing this with a black dress or a black pencil skirt, but just look at how everything looks good with 
these pants, this tank top, and these flip flops. I could wear this on Rodeo Drive and not feel bad, or I could wear this out in Wilmington <laughs> and not feel bad. This one you guys have seen lately. I don't know how it got on my bottom rack with the other jackets, but it's the Veronica Beard and it is the Schoolboy Scuba. And I showed it to you in my, I think, jumpsuit video. And it's, it's very different. And let me show you the other, the full thing, the zipper and everything. It zips it. This one actually, yeah, zips in. Some of them button, some of them zip. This one zips in. So I bought the additional black hoodie because I've always loved that look, but it's not cold enough here to do that. And then I got the gray hoodie too. So you just zip that in and it gives you the look like you're wearing a gray hoodie. Looks like I've still got the tags on this. It says it was reduced to $147.50. I bought this in the men's department at Dillard's. Dillard's is another good place. They have good men's blazers. This one is it's called Turnberry and oh, it's such a pretty color. This is something I should have been wearing. I should have been wearing. It's definitely oversized, but I love it. It's just, it's, you know, that look, you have to like it. And let me show you, if you want to do the oversized, but you hate how the sleeves look, this is the Lily Silk Scrunchie. See, that gives it a whole different look. It takes a little bit of the oversized look away or the look of you're wearing your father's jacket or whatever. But me, I like that look. And I'm not, I'm not someone who is always drawn to this because I feel like I'm not a tough girl. I'm not, this doesn't go with my personality most of the time, and I'm learning that. But every once in a while, I do like that look. This just has to be for a specific look for me. But I need to just think about, think outside the box, my black box, but sometimes it's hard. Next time I go through my blazers, if I haven't worn it, then I'll know that I'm just not gonna wear it. Okay, this one, I think I got this at H&M in the men's section. All it says is made in Vietnam. And it is also a blue plaid. And it's also very oversized. So you guys tell me which one you like best, this one or the last one, because I don't need both of them. They would, I would wear them for the same thing. I mean, this one's really cute. It's more of a plaid. Let me grab this one so you can see both. This one's a little bit more blue. This one's a little bit more black, but tell me which one below you like better. And they're both cool though. Okay, now we were getting into the tan blazers. And the first one I've got is a Zara blazer in small and it's got the tags on it. I think I bought this when we were at the rental house and I just haven't worn it, but I should have. Oh, I can already tell you, I can already tell you what has probably thrown me off. I am not crazy about wood buttons. I'm gonna go through a list of the little teeny weird things that I have noticed about myself, especially in the last couple of months when I I'm really trying to pay attention to why I'm not wearing something or why I am wearing something. And it can be so silly or wrong or, you know, anything. But if there's anything like this, then you might as well just give it away because I, this does not bring me joy. I, I already don't like it. So this will be going with the tags on it to either my mom or I wish Brooke wore blazers, but she doesn't. So I'll probably take this to the resale shop. Okay, this next one is the from Breaky Shop. And I believe this is the one size fits all two. It is like mega 
oversized. This, I think I got this from Netta Porter or one of those really, what am I trying to say? Um, very high fashion, not runway, but under runway, big time style websites. And I think like the one I just got is not this big. So let's, let's see what happens if I do the sleeve. If I will, see that might make a big difference there if I do the sleeves. But I'm noticing, I do have it buttoned, but hmm, what do you guys think? I'm kind of liking it. I really like that it's so tone on tone. And you know they say that your closet and your house probably will look very similar. I have learned so much about myself too with home decor and what I like. And I'll go into that when I go into that video, but I like streamlined things. They don't have to be plain, but I don't like something that breaks up the look. I like my eyes to just glide over something. So that's what I like about this. So I'm gonna keep it. And the next time I go through blazers, if this one hasn't you know, been worn, then I'll know. But this also is kind of a, it's a beautiful color tan and it might look good over little dresses in the summer, that or a slip dress. I just need to think about it more. And now that I'm getting rid of so many, it will be on my mind more. Okay, the next one has the tags on it, which is not a good sign. Looks like I got it from Aritzia and it's a Babaton. And it's different. It's got a different, I see why I liked it. I kind of like stitch stuff, stuff with stitches, exposed or visible stitching, and it's got a different little waistline and feels good. I love when you go to put them on and they just like slide on. Okay, and then you button it like this. Okay, this has a somewhat of a trench coat look which is kind of neat because I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I asked, should I get a trench coat? Because I love the look of a trench, but we don't have a lot of need for it here. So this gives me a little bit of that look, especially, let's grab a belt. Let's see if it's easy. It cuts in at the waist naturally, so it looks like it's gonna be easy to belt. So, you have to tell me what you think. I think I like it. I think this might be, especially like when I'm recreating outfits, or because I, I do get inspired by trench coat looks, especially the ones that are full and like ladylike and they're cinched in and they kind of go out like a dress. That's one of my favorite trench looks. Like, if you've been with me, remember that time I told you about the girl I saw in the airport and she had on that trench coat and that little cool bag and I was just like, yes. It was just so pleasing to the eye just to see her so stylish because so many people were like in their pajamas and I don't know, it just was so pretty to see her like that. Okay, this one I just got, you guys saw it and it's light. I think it, it was on sale. So I think it's kind of meant for the spring and summer, but it's a Diane von Furstenberg and she can do no wrong in my book. I love every, I don't know if I've ever seen anything she makes that I don't like. And it's a kind of a blousy, silky, not very structured blazer, drapey is what I'm trying to say. And I need to steam it. I can't believe I haven't steamed it because I've been very good about steaming everything. But really cool. See how it looks kind of like double layered? It's got that in there so it looks, just gives you, it's, you're wearing something so comfortable, so easy, so simple and plain, but yet there's a little bit of interest. This is one of those things that you could sleep in. It feels so good. So this is not going anywhere. 
And I'm so glad I'm doing this because I will remember this more. Okay, the next one is from Mango. I don't know when I got this. It is a 36 or a four, and it looks pretty fabulous. Oh, I love it too. This is so much fun. This is, I will have to, I think I got this a while ago. It's not new. It's awesome. It's awesome. Mango, Mango and Aritzia and Zara. I just love it. This next one, you guys might remember, I got it in the men's department at Dillard's and it wasn't on sale. I think I paid up for it, but it's linen. It's a tan linen and it's a medium. It's by Murano, Slim Fit. And I know I like this, but I'm gonna try it on for you. Okay, this is another one that the buttons don't bother me because it's linen and it's already got that vibe. So this wouldn't bother me. I would still wear it with black. I would wear it, wear it with anything. And you can see the sun has gone. It rises over here and then it goes this way. So now I'll, I'll try to make sure I get in the light a little bit more, but that's really pretty. Okay, another Lejeance. I think I bought this at one of the Nordstrom sales and it's pretty, I know it is. It's a size six, so it's gonna fit. It might be a little bit big, but it is, gosh, I thought I was gonna get rid of this, but it's pretty, isn't it? This will be on the chopping block for next time. Okay, here we are. Favorite blazer of all times, my Gucci blazer in Miami, or we might have been at another fancy shopping place. Anyway, I saw a girl with this blazer on, and I told myself right then, if I can find that blazer, I'm going to get it. It's just going to be mine, no matter what. So we went in a Gucci store, and they had it. And it's actually a men's blazer, but I can't express to you the fabric is almost like a tapestry, but it's not rough. It just It's not even because it's Gucci. If I found a mango blazer, which I have seen some similar, that was this color and this fit and just this whole vibe, it's almost got like a smoking jacket type vibe and it looks a little vintage. It's just, I love everything about it. I love the way it fits. It's one of those things like you put it on and it's almost like you're just in it, floating around, but yet it stays structured and love this. So this will never go anywhere. I'll always have this. Okay. Last but not least, my Sam So blazer that I got last year from Oliver. Notice that's all of my blazers. So you guys know I've bought green blazers. I have bought pink blazers. I have bought tweed multicolor blazers. I have bought, I do have a white blazer that goes with a suit from Mango in my, they're together in my other closet. But I have realized I don't really like colored blazers, but this one, there's just something about it. It's just the shade of lavender goes with everything. And it's the oversized, I think this was the, it's meant to be oversized. I think this one was a small or an extra small. Extra small, so that tells you how oversized it's meant to be. And I really look forward to wearing this. It looks really good over dresses. And just see how it hangs kind of open. It's just beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this one, I don't know if this will ever go anywhere. I just really like it. Let me go get the white blazer just for fun. Okay, so it's a, it's a whole suit. I bought the pants and everything to go with it. You might remember it's from Zara, a medium, and it's white with the tuxedo lapel, the satin lapel, and it's just beautiful. I want another white blazer that's more like the boyfriend style, but just look at how you can just have anything and you just put the right blazer over it and it just looks so good. It's just, and it's timeless. You will, a white suit is timeless and it's, all black and all white is just, it's always going to be one of my favorites. I hope you liked this. I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. 
like I said, it's not wasn't really a styling video. I just was taking you with me to go through my blazers and let me show you the ones that I've pulled out just in case. So these are the ones that I will probably be getting rid of. This Zara one with the dark buttons. I don't know why, I just don't like that. I just don't. This Veronica beard that's a little bit too big. And then tell me what you think about this wrinkly casual one, if it's worth keeping just to wear like in the summer over things. I even wore it last summer. I've worn it since I lived here. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this little blazer journey with me. And I will link as much stuff as I can below. A lot of this stuff was old, oldies but goodies. And I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.